This question, we're coming up with an equation to represent the relation shown. So let's start off with um, asymptotes. So let's do that. And we, we take a look at it from a horizontal asymptote point of view. We can see that we have a line across there at y equals 1. From a vertical, we have the up and down line there at x equals 2. All right, so asymptotes out of the way. And so now let's get our equation started. The form we're asked to work with is this. And given our asymptotes, we should be able to fi figure out the h and the k. So we recognize that with the x, we're shifting to the right by 2. So that means that having an x minus 2 in there will work. And we're shifting up by 1, which means that we will have a 1 at the end. So off to a good start. Um, and so really, what we have left here is our a. So how are we going to solve for the a? And that's the shape of the uh, e graph here. And so what we could do is we could say, do we know any particular points on this graph? Well, we, we have this point here, and that's saying that when x is 1, y is 0. Um, we also have a point up a little ways, and that one is when x is 3, y is 2. Now, we only need one point in order to work this through, and the other point could be saved to kind of double check your answer at the end, but let's just go with this first one. So if we plug it in into our equation, y, when x is 1, y is 0. So let's put y, we'll replace the y with a 0, and we have the a up there, and the x we're going to replace with our 1. And so, whoops, plus 1. Okay, so there we are there, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 1 divided by negative 1, we just have negative a there, or negative 1a, whichever you prefer, equals 1. Uh, rearrange things a little bit, move that 1 over to the other side, and we have a is equal to 1. All right, and so now we can go back to our equation up here, and we can plug in our a equals 1. So y is equal to 1 over, and we had x minus 2, and we had a plus 1 at the end. And there's our equation. Now, one thing, if you were doing this on a test or something like that, um, one thing you could do is you could use your second point here, and you could plug in your x and your y for that and make sure it comes out to be correct. Um, it has to in order to uh, have that point represented on in this relationship. So good thing to double check. Anyways, that's that.